So the first thing we're going to talk about is how our bodies burn calories. And there's a couple of things that I want you to pay close attention to, which is these percentages. Okay, you can go through this video and watch it a, a bunch of times if you need to. But the, the two most important things you want to understand for burning calories are these first two areas here. Metabolism, which accounts for 70% of the total calories we burn a day and NEAT, which stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which can account for up to 20%. It can fluctuate, obviously, and we'll talk about some reasons why, but it can account for 20%. So that right there is 90% of the calories that you burn a day between your resting metabolism, and we'll talk about NEAT, and we'll talk about what that actually is, okay? So just keep that in mind as we're going through the video that 70% is metabolism and 20% is something called NEAT. Okay, so let's actually start there with metabolism. So your body burns calories just being alive, right? Just me standing here using my arms to talk, um, thinking burns calories, and it burns up to 70% of the total calories I will burn in the entire day. What's really interesting about this is that if you look at other people in the world, maybe hunter-gatherer populations or people uh, that live in different climates or different parts of the world, Generally speaking, we all sort of burn the same amount of calories through our metabolism, you know, give or take a couple hundred based on size uh, and, you know, and weight and things like that. But we, we all sort of burn sort of a baseline amount of calories, okay? So that's really important to understand. Um, and the way in which our bodies uh, burn calories is through, you know, running our organs, our brain, our heart, things like that. So just sort of everyday things. Nothing special here. It's not like you're climbing, you know, mountains and running for miles and miles to get this amount of calorie burn. This is you just being alive, you being you, you doing the things that you do every single day, okay? One of the things, one of the only ways in which you can influence this metabolism number, one of the more permanent ways is building muscle mass. Other than your organs, the muscle on your body accounts for the second most amount of calories burned a day, okay? So that's a, that's a very important stat. That's the most influential uh, amount of metabolism boost, you can call it, that you have outside of simply just having your organs running, right? I mean, at the, at the end of the day, that's kind of how it works. So the more muscle mass you can have, the more calories you're going to burn doing absolutely nothing. Now, you don't have to be a the, the Hulk. You don't have to be a She-Hulk or a He-Hulk in order to benefit from this. You just have to have some muscle tone. So whatever amount of muscle tone that looks good for you that you want to try to achieve is the amount of muscle that you want to try to build. So if you don't already have that, then what you want to do is you want to focus on building muscle. We'll talk about some ways that we can focus on exercise to burn calories through building muscle. So that is metabolism, okay? That's the 70% of total calories come from metabolism. 20% come from non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Now there's a bit of confusion as to what non-exercise activity thermogenesis is don't worry too much about it it's really simple it's basically the total amount of steps that you take a day all right it's one of the easiest ways to track how active you are like right now i'm looking at my watch and it says that i've taken 7265 steps now it's not all steps me moving my arms like this is technically steps it's me being active some ways in which non-exercise activity thermogenesis counts in the real world uh, think about fidgeting, right? You're sitting, listening to a lecture or you're listening to your boss talk to you and you're like fidgeting, you're moving your hands, you're tapping on your thighs like a drum beat or something like that. Or um, another good example is you walking to your mailbox. Like, I don't know about you, but my mailbox is at the end of the block. I have to walk to go get my mail. Or um, let's say I park far away from the grocery store and I walk to the grocery store, those steps count. To keep things simple for now, just focus on step count, all right? The only reason I'm breaking up the specifics there and, and sort of splitting hairs is so that you fully understand what the definition is. The only thing that I actually want you to keep a track of is total daily steps. Okay, so don't worry about anything else other than your total daily steps and how you get them. Now, some goals for increasing NEAT are to get seven to 10,000 steps a day. Now, if that number, that range number seems intimidating to you, let's say you're someone who's like in the 3,000 range right now and you're you know bothered by that because you're like holy crap i have to get seven to ten thousand just realize that if you can work to get a thousand more than you're currently getting you will take progressive steps to start getting this many steps a day and if a thousand steps sounds like a lot just know that a thousand steps is about 10 minutes of casual walking so if you were to stop or pause this video right now and go out for a walk for 10 minutes you would get about a thousand steps 
So it doesn't take a ton of effort to get more steps. It just takes being mindful and being purposeful about actually doing it. Because as you already know, our world is very sedentary. A lot of the, the time we spend during the day is sitting because it's how we do our job at a computer or maybe we, we're working with people as a counselor and we sit face to face with them, but we're not really standing up, moving around, doing things very often. So you have to be purposeful about getting your need. Now keep in mind, it, it can account for about 20% of the total calories you burn a day. So it's very important to make this your number one priority, right? Other than building muscle through strength training, which we'll talk about, you want to make sure that you're getting as many steps a day within these ranges or as close to these ranges as you possibly can. Now, the most consistent way to do this is to spend time walking or spend time being active, like mowing your lawn or doing yard work or doing, uh, uh, you know, working your garden or you know, taking care of your house or whatever it might be. Being more active and tracking. Tracking is very important. You can't really estimate how many steps you're getting, 10 to, uh, seven to 10,000 steps a day. You have to be able to track it. And you can buy these trackers for relatively cheap. For the, you know, the same price of a, as a fancy night out uh, to dinner, you can buy one of these trackers that is, is gonna take all the anxiety out of knowing whether you're you know, active or not. Uh, so that is neat. So again, remember between these two, if we can focus on building muscle through strength training and getting enough steps each day, that is 90% of how we should spend our time exercising, okay? We'll talk about exercise next.